This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at trends in ionic radii. So I'll start by looking at this data, which can be found in section 9 of the IB data booklet. In this section, we have data for the atomic radius and the ionic radius. The first thing that we notice is the difference between the atomic radius and the ionic radius of an element. By looking at the data, we can see that positive ions are smaller than their parent atoms and negative ions are larger than their parent atoms. We'll look at the explanation for this at the end of the video. So next we'll have a look at the trend in ionic radii down a group. So if we look at group 1, we can see the ionic radii increase as we go from the lithium ion to the cesium ion. The reason for this is the increase in occupied energy levels as we go down the group. Next we'll look at the trend across a period. So we'll look at period 3 which starts with sodium. The first four elements in period 3 all form positive ions. If we look at the ionic radii of these ions, we can see that it decreases from sodium to silicon. The next element in period 3 is phosphorus. According to this table, phosphorus forms a 5 plus ion. However, it is more common to find that phosphorus forms a 3 negative ion. Therefore, for the rest of the video, I'll be using this data for the P3 negative ion. So if we look at the ionic radii of the phosphide ion, the sulfide ion and the chloride ion, we can see that it decreases from left to right. So next we look at the data that we discussed previously as a graph. So starting with the sodium ion, we see a decrease in the ionic radius as we go from the sodium ion to the magnesium ion to the aluminium ion and to the silicon ion. We then see a large increase in the ionic radius as we go to the phosphide ion. The ionic radius then decreases as we go to the sulphide ion and then to the chloride ion. The first four positive ions all have the same electron configuration, which means they are isoelectronic. The negative ions also have the same electron configuration. However, when compared to the positive ions, they have an additional occupied energy level. The positive ions have two occupied energy levels, while the negative ions have three. So this explains the large increase in ionic radius between the positive ions and the negative ions in period 3. Next we look at the first three ions in period 3 in more detail. As mentioned earlier, all three ions are isoelectronic, which means they have the same electron configuration. By looking at the atomic number, we can see that the number of protons increases from the sodium ion to the aluminium ion. However, the number of electrons stays the same. This results in a stronger attraction between the nucleus and the electrons, which causes the ionic radius to decrease. So to summarize, we have an increasing number of protons pulling on the same number of electrons. This causes the ionic radius to decrease from the sodium ion to the aluminium ion. The next ions we look at are those formed from the elements in period 2, nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine. So we have the nitride ion, the oxide ion and the fluoride ion. By looking at the electron configuration, we can see that these three ions are isoelectronic. And if we look at the atomic number, we can see that the number of protons in the nucleus of each ion increases. But the number of electrons stays the same. So just like in the previous slide, the attraction between the nucleus and the electrons increases, which causes the ionic radius to decrease. So as we go from the nitride ion to the fluoride ion, we have an increasing number of protons pulling on the same number of electrons, which causes the ionic radius to decrease. Next we look at the data for the trend in ionic radii from the nitride ion all the way to the aluminium ion. So starting with the nitride ion which has 7 protons in its nucleus, up to the aluminium ion which has 13 protons in its nucleus. And if we look at the electron configuration of the ions, we can see that it's the same. Therefore, all these ions are isoelectronic. And the trend in ionic radius shows a decrease down the table. So the nitride ion has the largest ionic radius and the aluminium ion has the smallest. As mentioned in the previous slides, the reason for this is we have an increasing number of protons pulling on the same number of electrons. This results in an increased attraction between the nucleus and the electrons, which causes the ionic radius to decrease. 
We'll end the video by looking at the difference in sizes between ions and their parent atoms. The first example we look at is the sodium atom and the sodium ion. If we compare the atomic radius and the ionic radius, we can see that the sodium ion is smaller than its parent atom. By looking at the electron configuration, we can see that the sodium atom has lost this one electron in the 3s sublevel. So the first point is that positive ions lose electrons to obtain a full outer shell. And the second point is that positive ions are smaller than their parent atoms. The reason for this is that the ion has more protons than electrons, therefore there is a stronger attraction between the nucleus and the electrons. Another reason for the difference in radius is that the ion has two occupied energy levels, whereas the atom has three occupied energy levels. So it's for these two reasons that the positive ions we've looked at in this video, that is the sodium ion, the magnesium ion and the aluminium ion, are all smaller than their parent atoms. Next, we look at the difference in size between an atom and its negative ion. The example here is the chlorine atom on the left and the chloride ion on the right. If we compare the atomic radius and the ionic radius, we can see that the chloride ion is larger than the chlorine atom. By looking at the electron configuration, we can see that the chloride ion has one more electron than the chlorine atom. So the first point is that negative ions gain electrons to obtain a full outer shell, which we can see here with the chloride ion. The second point is that negative ions are bigger than their parent atoms. And the reason for this is that the ion has more electrons than protons, therefore there is a weaker attraction between the nucleus and the electrons.